Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film these weekly Solar Trip Podcast episodes. We're talking about all things spirituality, metaphysics, the occult and so much more. And for this video, I wanted to do something different because it is my birthday in two days. So I figured that I would do a Q&A on Instagram and let you ask me anything that you want. And then I can sit down here and film and answer all of your questions. But by the time you watch this video, because I do film in advance, my birthday will have already been. So yeah, it was last week for you guys. But for me, it's in two days. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull up the questions and we're going to get into this. I think there was like 16 or something, 17 questions, something like that. And I would say that I would just like try and get through it as fast as possible. But this is a podcast and we normally film for a good half an hour or so. So I'm not going to rush this. We are going to go as slow as we want. And I'm in a, such a weird mood. I've literally tried to film this video about 10 times. I'm not even going to lie. I don't know why. I don't know how. But I forgot to charge my camera last time I filmed which was last week so it meant I had to wait another two hours before I could film and I think that's just sent me a little bit stir crazy and a bit weird and now I don't know how to film and it's really hot in this room and I can't function and my lights are hot so we're just going to answer these questions and get through this together okay so question number one I'm going to put your names on the screen because it's people's Instagram usernames and I always feel like I don't want to say it wrong and just sound ridiculous. So I'm just going to put the whole thing on the screen so you can see it, okay? So I'm not being rude. I'm just putting it on the screen to save both of us, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so question number one is how old are you? Which is a cool question considering it's my birthday in two days. So right now when I'm filming, I'm 26. But by the time you watch this, it will already be my birthday. I will be 27. And I kind of debated whether I... I even wanted to share my age. I can't get my words out already. Like we've only just started and it's already happening. Um, yeah, so I kind of debated whether I wanted to actually like tell people my age. I don't know. I feel like there's such a weird thing about age, especially for women and especially in the music industry. So it kind of made me like hesitate whether I even wanted to share it. But I don't know. I feel like I kind of got over that because once you get more comfortable in yourself, it's like, oh, fuck it. You know, it's just the age of my vessel. It's not the age of me. And it doesn't even matter. Like, why does it matter? So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I just started talking about that. But anyway, so by the time you watch this, I'm 27. So question number two is, where are you from? And I'm from the UK, um, kind of close to London. I always just say London because it's so much easier to explain and everyone knows where that is. So it's literally like right near London. Question number three is, what made you want to pursue music? I always find this question hard because I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it literally is just something that you're born with or something that you're just passionate about from a young age and it's just always been there so I always just loved music I loved singing especially in the car and my family would get really annoyed at me especially my brother and my cousins they would be like please shut the fuck up <laughs> because I would just be singing like as quietly as possible so I didn't annoy them but I knew the words and I just had to sing it like it's rude not to sing a song when you know the fucking words okay <laughs> and it would really annoy them but I just loved music and I always loved like pulling the lyrics out of magazines and trying to sit there and just learn the lyrics. Literally, I would loop songs and try and learn the lyrics, especially, you know, like in um in CDs, because when I was young, like we had the CDs and we had cassette tapes and in the little booklet thing, it had all the lyrics. So I would loop the album and just sit there and listen to the songs over and over until I learned all of the words because I just wanted to be able to sing them anytime I heard the song. <laughs> if it comes in the car, I need to know the lyrics, okay? <laughs> so I don't really know what made me. It's just something that I loved and have always loved. So yeah. Um, question four. These are not numbered, so I'm like trying to remember what number we're on. Um, happy birthday for Friday. Thank you so much. And how did you start off with your career? So I feel like every like every experience that you go through and everything that you do is 
always leading you exactly to where you need to be. So even though when I was younger, I didn't know exactly what I would be doing right now, but I knew what I wanted. So I did like, um, I studied music in school as a GCSE and then I went to college and did music and then I went to a music school afterwards. Because I've tried to film this video so many times, my camera is now cutting off because it's overheating. <laughs> this is my life, okay? This is my issues. But what was I saying? Um, yeah, so I did music in school, then college, then I went to a music school in London and did I only did one year there because I was like, you really don't need to study music to be able to do music, you know? So I only did a year there, but I don't know. I just always loved it. So I started vocal lessons at 13 and then just went from there and kept trying to like find my way and try and pursue it. But obviously it's not an easy path and I kept like getting distracted and not believing in myself and like going in weird directions. And at one point I did get a normal job as well. So that's why I'm like 27 and trying to do it because, you know, we take little detours and everything. But I do know for a fact that if I was to have pursued it properly when I was like 16 or something, I would have literally been lost and I would have been chewed up by the awful machine that is the music industry. So I'm glad that it's happened the way that it's happened, you know. And that I get to do it this way by myself because it's just so much better. But how I started was literally, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what would count as like starting really. But it's just having a passion for it. When I was young, I would just like sit in my room and write lyrics and make up songs and then make up dance routines to go with the songs and then perform them for my mom and stuff like that. So I think that is really where it starts, you know, and people often think that it's like this one big decision that happens that starts it or like this one big opportunity, but it's not really. It's like the combination, combination. What? I hate this word. This happened in the last video. I don't know what word it is. Is it combination or cul culmination? Whatever. We're just going to go with combination. So it's like the combination of all of these things that happen and it builds up to your whole life. Like it's a whole journey, you know? So literally it was vocal lessons. I studied music for quite a lot of years. And then after that, I just decided to do it on my own and just post online, really. I think posting online has been like the game changer for me because you have access to everything that you need literally online, you know. And I taught myself to sing like the vocal lessons and stuff after I stopped having private lessons because it's really expensive and my mum was like, we can't do this anymore, like you need to stop. <laughs> so after I stopped those, I just went on YouTube and literally taught myself through YouTube. So, um, question five, how have you grown your long hair? <laughs> Um, my hair's always been able to grow really long, so I think it's just like a genetic thing. Um, when I was younger, it was really long. It was literally like right down to my bum, which it kind of is now, to be honest. And then as I went through my teen years and I started straightening it to fit in, so stupid. <laughs> so I started straightening it. And then I would go to hairdressers who really didn't know how to deal with my hair, you know, because when you have mixed hair, like, it's different so they like cut it and it ended up being really short and then it's literally the last two years that I've just let it grow and I haven't gone to the blooming hairdressers I just let it grow by itself and it's got long again so I just think it's a genetic thing to be honest but I can do a video about it because I do use specific products that are natural we don't use chemicals around here <laughs> on our hair just makeup but not on our hair. So I can do a um, a video on that if you want to see, if you're curious. <laughs> anyway, I'm in such a fucking weird mood. Um, question number six, is this number six? How do you deal with narcissistic people? Oh my God, I feel like I could spend 10 years talking about this topic because I have dealt with this shit so much but how do you deal with them I don't think you can deal with them I think you need to cut them off to be honest because you can't change people people are going to be whoever they're going to be and they're playing a role for a reason so like this isn't even a judgment or to blame them they've come here to be this person they have these 
like characteristics and these personality traits and a lot of the time it does stem from their own trauma and it stems from their own difficult experiences that they've had to go through but at the end of the day like we all need to take accountability for our own behavior and our own trauma because only we can heal ourselves so it's like you can't really use your trauma as an excuse to be awful to people and manipulative or narcissistic. So I don't think that there's a way to deal with them. They're going to be what they're going to be. And you just have to focus on being your best self and getting to know yourself and loving yourself so that you can then hear your intuition and listen and feel into your body when it tells you that somebody is off, somebody is not right for you. And then you'll be able to decide that and realize that and actually cut them off and like fully step in your power to be able to cut them off, you know, and not like doubt yourself or hesitate or question what you're feeling. You'll be able to just be like, no, that person's not it. I know they don't make me feel good. It doesn't feel right being around them. Like I don't need to settle for that, you know? So I really think that when it comes to dealing with them, it's actually about yourself and it's about why you're even tolerating being around them, honestly. And once you uncover that, you'll be able to then cut them off and let them go about their lives because you can't change people. And I've spent a long time trying to like push for people to be better and to reach their potential and be the potential that I see in my mind, you know, like such a Pisces characteristic, but whatever. I spent so long doing that. And now I'm at the point where it's like, no, 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 no. They're going to be who they're going to be. Let's stop trying to force people to be things that they're not wanting to be and let's actually just uh, like go and connect with people that are meant for us because you'll be so much happier when you do that so my little rant question number eight i think are you working on a new music video well i'm working on so much new music so a music video will definitely come with that but i haven't started on one yet because i just want to get these like singles released so badly. <laughs> I'm really excited, but a new music video will definitely, definitely be coming with this album. And I'm really, really excited for you to hear it. So question nine, advanced happy birthday. Thank you so much. Oh God. Um, oh, who is your inspiration? Love from India. It's so cool that you guys are from like completely different countries. It's just really amazing how we can connect. I th like that's that just blows my mind to be honest um who is your inspiration oh somebody asked me this before and I don't know I feel like I get inspiration from so many people in so many areas in so many ways literally like it's gonna sound really cringe but like my mum like my family are inspiration my best friend is inspiration tons of spiritual teachers and people that I connect with online are inspiration um tons of music artists are inspiration even just like being outside in nature is inspiration oh my god being by the sea that is my life okay if I could live anywhere if I could do anything, it would be by the sea, just sitting there and looking at the waves, especially when the moon is like set in or the sun is set in and the moon is there. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't even make sense sometimes. But like sitting there and looking at that, oh, it is everything. Like that is inspiration. And I don't know, I just kind of pick it up from everywhere. So many things just like spark ideas and especially for music, I'll be doing, I could be doing the most randomest thing and it will just spark an idea. So yeah, I kind of get inspiration from everywhere to be honest. And also I don't really put people on a pedestal like that. I just appreciate the good things in them, if that makes sense. I don't know. Um, okay, question number nine, do you have a boyfriend? No, I do not anymore. <laughs> so that's that. <laughs> Question number 10. When did you become interested in spirituality? Um, so back in like 2015, 2016, maybe even 2014, I was so depressed and so miserable. And I like just fell into such depression because 
it was kind of like, where do I go now? Like, what do I do next? You know? And I don't know, I was just completely miserable. And I was working in a job that I didn't want to work in. And all I wanted to do was do music. But life was not happening that way because I hadn't taken control of the situation and like put action behind my dreams, you know? So yeah, I was really depressed and I spent a lot of time just sitting there on YouTube every day, just watching it over and over, trying to find like inspiration. Like I really was looking for inspiration then because I was just so miserable. And that kind of led me into all of the bullshit that happens here, to be honest. Like I was questioning everything because I was so unhappy. So I was looking at the food industry. I was looking at tons of different things that go on here. And yeah, that kind of was how it started. And I do feel like oftentimes it's something negative that triggers the interest into spirituality because you start looking at more. It's like, why am I working just to earn a piece of paper, just to buy food, just to be able to sleep? with a roof over my head, you know, like you start questioning all of this mundane shit that doesn't have any meaning behind it. And then we die. So it's like, why does this happen? You know? And that's why I really hope that now we're breaking this cycle so that when our generation has children, they don't even fall into that mundane autopilot shit because they're already aware of why they came here. You know, they're so connected to their purpose and to the divinity of who they are, like they're so connected to the divine that they don't really fall asleep as much and then they don't have to go through so much hell like the rest of us have had to deal with, you know? So yeah, I just realised the question was when. So the, so when was like 2016, 2015 kind of time? Okay, question, what question are we on? Is it 11 or is it 12? because my camera keeps cutting out. I think it's 12 now. But this question is by Travis Magus, and if you have not checked out his YouTube, you really should, because it is a game changer when it comes to like magic and manifestation and really harnessing your, like your power. I don't know how else to word it, but you should really check out his YouTube channel because it's so good. And he asked this question, how much of our personality, like this is just such a Travis kind of question, I have to say. <laughs> How much of our personality expresses our soul? How much of us do you think we take with us? Like, I fucking love this question, can I just say? And I don't even know how to answer it because I am in such a weird mood that I keep rambling. See, I feel like, because there's polarity in everything, I feel like it expresses a lot and then at the same time, it expresses hardly anything. You know how they say, like, we only have access to, like, 10% of our DNA or something like that? I don't know. I feel like so much of it comes through, but then at the same time, it's, like, hardly anything, really. So, I don't know. This question makes me kind of want to just go and dream <laughs> about it <laughs> and try and figure this out, because I don't know. But it's such a cool question. Because I do feel like we're all so unique as well. But then if our souls are interconnected, how much of our soul really is that? <laughs> this is literally sending me down such a rabbit hole in my mind right now. But I also feel like, um, because obviously we have, like, we have the human level of thought and, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know how to answer this question. <laughs> I kind of feel like though, because even though the ego mind is a human level of thought, it's still a part of our soul. Like everything that we are is a part of our soul and is like a huge part of our soul. But then at the same time, our soul is so like, what's the word? Like so beyond, so vast that what we are in this experience is nothing compared to that. So I feel like the answer kind of contradicts itself. And this is really sending me down a rabbit hole right now. Yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> that is the answer to this question. And I would like to know. So I would like to go and meditate on this and get back to you. <laughs> but thank you so much for this wonderful question. And now I am literally going to go and sleep for 10 years and try and figure out the answer. Because I don't know. <laughs> I'm sweating so much. This room is so hot. Question 13. I have no idea if these numbers are right, so we're just going to go with 13. Do you do this full time? 
you're so I don't like saying compliments about myself it makes me feel really uncomfortable to say it out loud it just feels weird <laughs> but thank you I appreciate you so so much um do you do this full time so yes and no because I think people really underestimate the amount of work that goes into not only music, but any kind of business that you want to do, like even down to just YouTube. Some people do YouTube full time and like I'm doing YouTube music and music production and my merch company. Like there's just so much that goes into it that full time doesn't even cover it. Like this shit is 24 seven. I go to sleep thinking about it. I wake up thinking about it. I literally live and breathe it, you know? So that's how I know that when people would always say that you need to really be passionate about something in order to pursue it, I know that that is so goddamn true. Because if I wasn't passionate about it, there's just no way I could do this much work, you know? Especially with not getting paid. Like I don't get paid for this podcast. You don't get paid that much when you put music on streaming stores, you know, it's not a lot. So, like, yeah. <laughs> so, yes, I do it full time. It's more than full time, it's like constant. But I also have a part time job as well because you also need money to be able to do this. It is not cheap to start your own business and it is not cheap to do any of the stuff that I do. So, it's full time, but I also have a part time job as well to help fund it because ugh, we need the cash. <laughs> so, yes. Um, question 14. Why is my mind going so blank? Question 14. What artist would you like to make a song with? And I hope you have a good birthday. Thank you so much. Um, what artist would I like to make a song with? Well, it kind of depends what field we're talking about because you know there are levels to this shit. <laughs> so Beyonce, of course. You know, we're going to put that out there. Um, I love Janae Aiko, though. She is a fave. So definitely her. Who else? I feel like there's just a whole list. Um, Rihanna. We're just going to go with these big names, you know? Why not? <laughs> who else? Oh, her. Her is amazing. Kehlani, just tons of these powerful women, you know, they're just incredible artists and definitely inspiration. Like I was saying before, there's some music artists that inspire me and they definitely do. So question 15, am I on 15? Question number 15, can I be your gym partner? I need some tips about workout. <laughs> um, I don't go to the gym because I don't like them. From the youngest age, I always had social anxiety and gyms just make me so uncomfortable, so overwhelmed by the amount of people and oh, I just don't like it. I've tried so many times and I just don't like it. Like, mm -mm, not my place. No, thank you. Why would I want to get all hot and sweaty with tons of people around me? Like, I don't want to be doing squats with you standing next to me. <laughs> That's just weird. <laughs> Not only that, but I also feel like working out is such a like intimate, personal thing. You're moving your body, like you're getting in tune with your body, you know? So to do that around other people just makes me feel really uncomfortable. So I don't go to the gym and I did buy a squat rack, like a little one, a closable one that you can like move. Um, I bought that literally recently for myself because I was like, I really want to work out and gain weight, but... I don't like the gym. So I bought myself adjustable dumbbells and a squat rack and then what happened? I kind of stopped using it. I think I used it twice <laughs> since I've had it. Oh, I don't know. I just prioritise my stuff like my life. I have to prioritise because I'm so busy and working out is just not a priority right now. But it should be because, you know, we're about to be 27. We need to kind of get on the ball with this shit. But one day I will be consistent and I'll be loving it but until then we're just gonna keep buying the equipment and getting ourselves prepared such a long-winded answer I can't just be straightforward <laughs> but anyway oh 16 okay <laughs> can't count question 16 what is your favorite dish I love pizza and pasta which are probably some of the worst possible things for you because they are not alkaline they have dairy 
but they are a favourite. As well as chocolate. Any kind of dessert, oh my god, I will be your best friend because literally dessert is life. Okay. <laughs> Question 17. How to get rid of extreme period cramps besides what's that middle? I've not heard of that. Or a middle? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. I've never heard of that. Or a heating pad. Um, so this is gonna be like a long answer because I can really save lives with this shit. <laughs> but I honestly would get period pains the worst they have. Oh, I've never felt anything like it. But I tell you, the biggest game changer for me was to stop using pads and stop using tampons. Sorry, guys, if this is TMI, but honestly, stop using pads, stop using tampons because when I tell you the amount of chemicals that they put on those things, and people always think like, oh, chemicals is such a weird word that like people think it's not serious and it sounds really stupid and like you're being overly cautious and petty but these chemicals get into your bloodstream they affect your fertility they cause cancer like people are coming down with all kinds of diseases and they're not looking at where they're actually stemming from and like the things that they're using that cause them and tampons and pads are one of them and yes they do that shit deliberately because they want to cause all kinds of problems for us to keep us under mind control so stop using tampons stop using pads and either get a menstrual cup which will save you a million freaking pound as well as like you can get um natural tampons and pads like switch to something like that if you want to save money get a menstrual cup and i can completely do a video on this if you would like a video but if you switch to that not only will it reduce the amount of time that you're on your period not only will it also adjust your cycle to kind of go nearer with the moon as well because that's what's happened to me but it will also help with period pains it really will like it's that drastic that these normalized products actually cause so many issues for women. I mean, even the contraceptive pill, but I really need to make a video about this whole topic because it's insane and it really irritates me. And it's something that I need to work on with triggering. But yeah, and also there's loads of herbs that I haven't tried yet that I really, they're on my list to buy. So once I buy them and I try them out, I will definitely let you know. But I know one of them is called red raspberry leaf and you drink it as a tea and it's meant to be so, so good for period cramps. So you should definitely look into different herbs and teas that you can drink that will help because I refuse to take paracetamol or ibuprofen or anything like that. I just don't want to put that shit in my body, you know? So I end up suffering. <laughs> end up suffering out of spite to these companies because I refuse to take their chemical pills. So I just end up dying of pain instead. So I am going to try out these herbs and I will definitely keep you updated on that and let you know how they work. But I've heard good things about them. So you should look up some herbs and switch your pads or tampons. The menstrual cup is a game changer. I'm just saying. And the last question is, have you watched the Sonic the Hedgehog movie? And no, I haven't. I don't even remember the last time I went to the cinema, to be honest. I don't really watch TV that much. Like, there's certain shows that I will keep up with. But for the most part, I just watch YouTube, honestly. Like, you'll probably think I'm really crazy. But, like, Travis, I sit there and just binge watch your videos. And loads of other people, like... They're kind of, that's entertainment for me. And then my downtime is really just making music because I just love it so much. And that's more of a recent habit actually where it's kind of like transitioned. Just things that are fun to me now are different. I don't know, it just kind of naturally progressed. So I don't really watch films that much and I haven't seen that film, but maybe I will watch it. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen anything to do with Sonic the Hedgehog. Is that really bad? Everyone always says to me, have you seen this film? Have you seen this film? And I'm like, no. <laughs> like half the um, fairy tale films I've not seen. Because <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just don't watch it. I don't know. I'm probably just weird. But anyway, that is all of the questions. So thank you so much for asking all of your questions. I really appreciate you. And thank you so much for listening and watching. All of my links to my music and social media will be in the description box below as well as my phone number, my merch company and everything like that. And yeah, 
I'm excited to go celebrate my birthday in a couple of days and I'm also going to start doing some Instagram live streams as well. I'm not really sure whether to do it on Instagram or YouTube so I feel like I'm just going to try both and then see which one I prefer and which one you prefer as well so yes but thank you so much for listening and watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube and I will see you in next week's episode. Bye! Oh, yeah, I think he like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea Oh, yeah, I think he like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea Oh, yeah, I think he might I'm the thing he like, in my range all white Oh, yeah, I think he might I'm the thing he like, in my range all white